the hana studio you can see it here we have the catalog and content and the provisioning and security tabs are there here suppose like catalog tab here catalog catalog means so hana normally we know the data will store into the hana database level but wait so in the under the catalog under the catalog we have the schemas these all are the schemas here under the schema we have the tables are available this this is the place where hana data will be stored here this is the place here where all the tables are available here we can see the data what data is storing into the table level so these all are the tables here these all are the tables here right we can just right click and we can just do, view the open the data preview then the data will be displayed if any data is there the data will be displayed here right so the data will be displayed here the data will be displayed right click and open the data preview the table level data will be displayed here how many entries are there in the each and every table it will be displayed here 16 rows retrieved in the 110 milliseconds if you just click on executing then so 110 so then 95 milliseconds then how fast we are getting the response you can see it here it is fluctuating based upon the era, size memory then it's keep on fluctuating the the data size here right so here where the data exists means under the tables where the tables are exist means under the schemas these all are the list of schemas here by default we will get from sap right by default we will get from the sap here schema where the schemas exist means catalog under the catalog we have the schema schema why because multiple schemas like how in the organizations we have the multiple teams right like uh, basis team security team above team like that each each team each team we have the one manager right so basis basis manager manager is called the here this is the catalog is called the organization under the organizations we have the multiple teams are there so teams means multiple so owners are there like right? basis basis manager security security manager so which means schema is called the these are the schemas actually schemas are called the owner of the 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 tables here schemas are called the owner of the tables here owner of the table is called the schema so <clears throat> owner of the schema so called the so here owner of the owner of the tables this all the tables each schema they are the set of tables are there each schema they are the each schema we have the uh, which schema we have the set of tables are called like each team how many members are there same as like here each schema if i go to the sys schema we have the tables right multiple tables are there here here also we have the multiple tables are there here right so one thing is here so as i mentioned previously here so as i mentioned previously so we can preview the data we can delete the data we can create the tables all those things we can do that one one more thing is here we can do the analysis also on fly we can make the business analysis that is what we discussed right means the table analysis normally if we want to do the this table analysis here in the graphical what we have to do we need to download we need to export to the excel sheet and all those things but here by default there is an analysis tab is there here if we go to the analysis tab here in the analysis tab here we go to the analysis tab here so here in the this table suppose like this is a sales table okay just example this is a sales table here right this is a sales table in each table each data each day how much data we are getting and how much sales and suppose we want to do that that type of analysis here right that type of analysis you want to do that one here so then in this case in this case in this case what we can wait what we can see this is a raw data means exact data here this is the raw data here this is the raw data here so then so when was the we have the sales sales here so value so value we can keep it into the so y-axis here then the measure time we can take it to the so then x-axis here then we can filter it out of the date here in which date in which in which date we have the so these entries are there here right in which chart you need the pie chart then you can type into the pie charts here pie charts level you will get the data here raw data 
So if any entries are coming here, immediately these graphs will be increased with the flow graph. Or if you want to line graphs, the line graphs also increased. So here, uh, I think the license memory is the 16 GB for one day. Then the previous days, how it was, then the, yeah, today, I think, so you can see the date wise, you can see the graph here is stabilized here, stabilized up to here. Then, so somewhat it is, it is increased on the, the 16th, the 16th, it is got increased. Then, so first it got increased more. So like that, you can see that date wise, you can see how much it is increased and everything here. So which means the sales persons, company persons, company people, what they will do in case of, in case of if they want to release the one product into the market, they will check the trends in which month, in which year they have the more sales are there to find out that much of time. So they will go directly go to the HANA database at particular table and they will go to the analysis tab and in the x-axis they will put the value all those things and they will get the all the information. They will get the all the information they will find out. They will get the all the information and everything they will find out here. Right? So which means so the more information like in this way we can find out so like in which month, which date we have the huge sales, is the stabilized or is there any fluctuations in the sales? So then they will not release where we have the lower sales. Then in that month, they will not release the, their products into the market, right? In this way, the sales persons will do the analysis here in this way. So in which, which method, in which map you need the analysis. So you can tree map, heat map. So anything you want to do. So here they can do the analysis here. We can just get the all the pie charts analysis, multiple pie charts. Here you can get it out the all the info, all the all the information you will get from SAP here. Right. So easily, like on fly, we can make the business decision. By seeing this one, immediately we can take the business decisions as well, right? Immediately we can take the business decisions. On fly, we can make the all the business decisions. We can take it out here, right? So this is the thing we can do it in the table level. How much, what, how, how. So here, normally in the other databases, what we have to do? We need to export the table data. We need to go to the Excel and we have to open the Excel. Then we need to load the data. We need to do the all the R&D. There are a lot of things we have to do. It. But here, you can see simple one or two steps we are getting. Then we can save. We can save as image or you can save it, save it as a file and you can inform to the, you can just provide the details to the respective thing. They will do that one. If any data coming immediately, the graph will be so increased. The live graph will be increased by default. Data is coming and immediately the data, this is also will get increased. So it's a live, right? So this type of things, we can perform it in the, in the catalog. Normally catalog, so normally in uh, normally we won't do anything here but here you should know right what about these tabs and everything normally we should know database means where data exists where the data exists in the form of tables where the tables are exist means under the catalog we have the schema owner of the table under the owner we have the list of tables are available right this is the very important tab here right that is the catalog here catalog analysis right table analysis we can do right and also so content tab is a developers developers will create it we don't have any scope here to create it developers will create the packages uh, analytical privileges and everything they will create it you don't need to do work on this one here right so provisioning so that's i will tell you tomorrow okay so catalog so catalog is the so one other important thing here so here we can export the tables data. We can also import the tables. And uh, so all those things we can do it from here, right? So all those things, suppose like in the catalog, if you see the table, suppose like if you take the one of the table, say, suppose like if you take the one of the table here, so uh, if you suppose if you want to unload the table, if you want to load the table, suppose like if you want to load the table into the main memory, no, I don't want this table should be in the main memory. I want this table should be the, so I want to delete or I want to keep it. I want, I want, I don't want this table should be in the main memory. I want to load this table into the main memory. Then we can just click on this button, load into the main memory. This action completely load the Delta storage into the main memory. Means data will be loaded to the main memory here by the storage, right? 
suppose i don't want to this table into the so main memory i want to unload from the main memory unload to disk save point then the data will be unloaded from main memory to disk storage right so that so that is the one here right so this is what we can see it here load into the main memory unload into the unload from so data that is also we can do it means but what is the error we are getting ravi here what is the what is the error we are getting when we are trying to load and unload we are permission, some sort of permission issue because this table is we are not the owner i think permission issue that is fine permission issue is fine also we can create the table so also we can create the one new table also we can create it here so but developers will do that one we won't touch all those things here so because we are only administrators here we can create one table like jet training table we can create it here so then here so why because we are in the system system user we are touching the sys schema sys user related tables we are touching that's why we are getting here right so normally sys schema so then what i am creating i am going to create the one training table here i want to the name of the all the students and their phone numbers i am creating one table in the table i need to feed all the data one phone number next okay phone number and their uh, like then uh, maybe their uh, fee details batch details so batch timelines time so all those details i want to save into the my database ana database why because it's a training it should be so every everybody should should require right so i have added these files and i can insert the data name ravi phone number timelines the name some other person ashok phone number timelines all the data employees data what i can do all the students data i can see it i can i can feed into the this training table in this table i can feed it here in this table i can feed it here right so here if we go to the system i can feed it i can insert the data or from my application side also my sap application side also what i will do so i will create the one table and i will create the one job to load the data everything i can do it this is the jet training table here right so so yes we can see it if you are the sap installed we can see it all the tables here right on top of the hana database if you are the sap the tables data will come from the sap only right that definitely we can see it from sap level right so then right click we want to load the data so i don't want to i want to load this this tables data into main memory for the speed purpose why because if the data in the main memory what will happen it is very speed right it is the very speed here then data will be in the main memory if suppose if data in data is not in the main memory it's in unload i don't want this table to be in the main memory why because if the table has some 2gb if it is in the main memory the license cost is very enough why because we will frequently access this table so then what will happen here when you unloads the data it will unload the data from the main memory memory and next time when you are accessing the table it will be slower because of data will have to loaded for to main memory from disk that is the reason so it will take time here that is the, now we are able to see all those things why because i am in the system user i am in the system schema then i am in the training table so i am able to load unload the data this is one of the possibilities right suppose this table this table is the 200 gb we are not using this 200 gb you unnecessarily it is staying in the main memory because of the, staying in the main memory if the table is stay stable data staying in the main memory means so license will be 200 gb is increased then i don't want to this one to be increased here i want to unload unload means if you unload it what will happen data will be unloaded from the main memory to your so your disk level data folder level it will be un unloaded if the if the data is in the file system what will happen it will be slow right if the data is in the main memory it will be very fast right so that is the reason i created the one table and we can load it we can unload it whatever we want we can do it so jet training table i created here so we can also perform the merge delta merge so sometimes right open data preview so we can also delete so whatever we want we can also create the index so that is the normally they will do that for index creation so this is about the catalog So catalogs we have the tables here. So how do we know the size of it? 
size of the table. So, yes, correct. If you go to the runtime information, SAP level also we can find out. If you go to the runtime information, so I think it's unloaded from here. Here we will get the information. Suppose like if I take any one of the table. So let's take, we have the previously one table we have loaded, right? Okay, we'll open freshly. Because there is no data, that's why it's not showing. Cannot use duplicate table names. No, not here. Mm. There is a table definition. Table definition, definition. The multiple ways. So here we can find out. Otherwise, yes. Here go to the runtime information. Here, how many records are there? So then how many records are there? What is the size? And how many records are there? What is the data size in the main memory in the delta storage? What is the estimated maximum size capacity? Uh, so all the, how many entries are there? What is the size on the disk? 8, 8 KB. So you have the, all the details here. Otherwise, normally yesterday we discussed, right? If you go to the system information, if you go to the system information, so then here, uh, there is an option, I think, here. So maybe here, size, table sizes and everything here. If you go to the, system information somewhere here we have the table schema size size of the in the mbs it will be displayed size tables on the disk so here if you execute it right so each schema it is a schema level this is schema wise it is showing i want table each and every table i want here Right. So table name, table name, table name, table name. Where is the table name? The training is very less. So somewhere it will be exist. Yeah, you can see each table. What is the size? So it is displaying here. You can do the search as well, right? Search works, right? Yeah, search also will work. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it here. So it's uh, eight, uh, eight K, eight MB. Eight, yeah, uh, eight KB. Okay, bytes, right? But yeah, KB. Yeah. So multiple ways. So we can also write the query. All those things also we can do it multiple ways. Okay. So please practice it. So let's 